Hi folks, it's Nick here. I review retro computer games, you know, or video games, so let's review one. It's Final Fight on the Commodore Amiga, published by US Gold in 1991 and based on the arcade cabinet by Capcom in 1989. This game was practically ported to everything, um, without exception. Well, not any that I know about anyway. It's a side-scrolling beaten up, it is rather splendid. Set in the fictional place of Metro City, you can control either one of three main characters, who are Mike Hagar, who's an ex-pro wrestler, uh, Cody, uh, his daughter's boyfriend, and also Cody's best friend that somehow has got roped into it called Guy, and there's the daughter. I don't know why she's just in her bra, that looks a bit suspicious, but she's been kidnapped and it's up to any of these three to go and rescue her. She's been kidnapped by the Mad Gear gang, and um, why? Her name's Jessica, by the way. Now, in development, this game started off, I believe, as a sequel to Street Fighter. There are some similarities, but was later switched to a 2D scrolling fighter following the success of games like Double Dragon, which were very popular at the time. And Double Dragon on the Commodore Amiga is absolutely hopeless, so I'm glad to tell you that Final Fight is a lot better than that. Quite often US Gold's conversions were very crappy, but the last one of theirs I reviewed Shadow Dancer's pretty good, and this isn't too bad as well. It's not perfect, but it's a pretty good effort. I'll be reviewing this game on the Game Boy Advance at some stage as well. So we'll pick we'll pick Guy, because he reminds me of Rai U from Street Fighter 2. Hagar is a bit of a show off. So Guy's the most unlikely person to get roped into this, so um, we'll control him. It doesn't matter which player you can control here, what character you choose, because they all move roughly the same. It uses quite a lot of the screen for an uh, Amiga game. Uh, the sounds are there. And the sprites are really, really big, which is nice. Sometimes the scenery is disproportionately big compared to your characters, and everyone on the screen looks like a child, but um, we'll forgive that. I haven't played the arcade version of this, so it'll be interesting to see that at some point. I'd imagine, although I don't definitely know, that the Game Boy Advance version is a bit closer, but we'll find out in the weeks to come. So here's my man. We've beaten up a few people. We've got a special move that if we press down on the joystick and fire, it does a spinning kick. Uh, just uh, fires a punch, and you can do kicks in the air as well. There's my special move. And like Double Dragon and various other games like this, you can also pick up uh, items. Here's a pipe here. Let's pick that up. Let's clobber someone with it, which will make going a bit easier. So, compared to the door, my guy looks like he's about three foot tall. Yes. In the top left, there's an energy bar going down. I have got some sort of cheat on this, um, which doesn't always work. Uh, so I should have infinite credits so I can keep continuing. But we won't comp be completing the whole game. We'll just show you a bit of how the game plays. Now... Have you seen the three incarnations of Double Dragon on the Commodore Amiga? My favourite is the third one out of that series, that's the only one that's only ever good. Do you think this is better than Double Dragon 3? Let me know. If you haven't seen Double Dragon 3, maybe check out my review in the Amiga game section. Type in search Double Dragon and you'll probably see 1, 2 and 3. So let's beat up these bullies. But there's, I'd like to say there's tactics to this game, but like a lot of these, there isn't really. It's just use the same move each time. And the main problem with any two-player game where you're playing it on one player, all the enemy can gather around you and just kick your head in before you've got a chance to get up. So if you've got a friend, which I'm sure you have, um, invite them round, because these games are always much, much, much better on two-player. Right, there's an end-of-level boss here. You see his name in the... Uh, the bar underneath mine, I think, going down, there he is. And there's another odd bloke who's running backward and forward in the background. I think he's in need for some sort of psychiatrist or mental assistance. So I'm just using the same move each time. I know how these guys work. Final Fight, US Gold, 1989. Good old Capcom, 19, uh, well, 1991 was the published on this, 1989 was from the arcades. There's loads of 2D scrolling fighters. What's your favourite? I mean, the Mega had a, quite a few rubbish ones, but this one's not too bad. I'm glad they went down this route rather than the Street Fighter route. Capcom made a, a, a bit of a hash. Well, US, I think US Gold did the conversion of Street Fighter 2 on the Commodore Amiga as well. And although that had essence of the game, that was pretty horrible. Right, there's a knife back there. We'll try and pick that up at some point. 
But quite often with this, I can spend too much time trying to pick up the weapon, uh, and then if I just beat people up normally, that would be it. But you throw the life once, and that's it. I think we're at the train station now, the underground. Mind the gap, as they say on the Northern Line on the uh, London Underground, if you've been down there. The the air quality is not brilliant. I'm assuming it's better up here. We might meet Harry Potter going for that platform of three and two quarters or nine apes or 32 twelfths. I don't know what platform it was. And I need him here, really. So there's a lot of people trying to beat me up at the underground. I don't know why. Maybe I haven't paid for a ticket. I didn't see that bit as a cutscene. So maybe these are just inspectors. Has he got the nuclear power sign on the back of his... Um, well, on his cloak, it might have been it might have been radioactive. Right, there's that another knife here. Oh, it's frozen. Actually, I don't think there we go. It was just loading the train coming. And this train is absolutely massive. Check out the size of me, check out the size of the train. Right, this carriage is huge. Now you see those swaying coat hanger things up the top there? When you're on a normal train, you can hang on to those, um, so you don't fall over if it's bumpy. Now, look at the size of these characters. How high would they have to reach to get that holder? They'd have to get on each other's shoulders, and that would look pretty weird. So it's all a bit disproportionate. The width of this tr underground train is massive. Uh, if you've ever been down the underground, it only needs about six of you on there, and you've already got your face flat against the wall. No adverts there, or directions. I don't know what line this is. It might be in the US. I don't think, I don't think it's on the central or... Northern line or Piccadilly line or or district line. See I mentioned a few there, that's good. Good lines. Right, there's some crazy gymnastic girls turned up, not wearing very much. But they're pretty good fighting anyway. They got berets on, they got ginger hair and they're they're kicking me in and they're wearing high heels. You wouldn't have room to do this on a carriage on the underground. You smash your head against the ceiling very suspicious actually with any computer game you can't really you can't really analyze it for realism just have a bit of fun with you and a maid maybe a couple of drinks hooray right I've got a lead pipe in that I found on the underground honest officer oh they're back again yeah it's a big fight between kids but um, this is all to try and rescue Jessica the kidnapped daughter of ex-pro wrestler Mike Hagar have you ever met him? I haven't seen him fight anyone. Did he fight Stone Cold Steve Austin or Hulk Hogan? Or the Incredible Hulk? Or Paul Hogan? Or Paul Simon? It's all getting a bit silly now. So there's a set amount of people to kill on each um, level. Well, that's pretty obvious, Nicky. There will always be a set amount of people to kill. As soon as you kill them, you just need to wander to the end and it will load up the next bit. How are you liking the game so far? A bit repetitive, isn't it? But, but these fighters always are, so I don't uh, I don't hold uh, anything against it for that. Come on, guy. You're the main guy. Oh, there's someone. But I've got a pipe now. Yep. He doesn't seem to know that lead pipes kill him, and he just walked into my trap. I'd hate to be the clean-up on this one. Now, presumably we've reached our station here. Yep, so we got off. A bit early, actually. That looks like a train track... But I don't think this is a proper station, so those hoodlums must have stopped the train. God, no wonder there's so many delays nowadays, all this fighting. Those pipes are dripping, dripping water. They're very flush to the wall, though, so it's good quality work. There's those two fat guys back again that attack by running towards you with headbutt style. Now, that's always dangerous when you're on a train track, because the next time they look up, there could be a steam locomotive about to run them over. I've been bringing real, realizing, real air. I've been bringing realism into the game again. Now, if you haven't realized already, I'm the one in the red pajamas, a bit like Ryu from Street Fighter 2. As I said at the start of this review, it was originally supposed to be a sequel to Street Fighter, so I don't know if this character was supposed to be Ryu to start off with, if that's how you pronounce his name. I think uh, I think it's Ken, isn't it? His counterpart that normally wears the red costume. And Ryu wears the white, but what do I know? Mind you, I have reviewed quite a few games. Street Fighter 2 on the Amiga, don't really bother with that one, unless you can find it on, can't find it on any other system. Right, next, oh, we're in the boxing ring. 
I think this is a bonus stage, so we won't go too much further. We'll just see if we can beat this bloke. And I think the bonus stage after this is I have to demolish a car. So we'll just do that if I can get there, and then that's that. The crowd aren't very animated, and I think they repeat every now and again. So see if you can see when it repeats. I think they've just dumped a, a bit of graphics there. I need to walk to the other side. Here we go, right. There we go. I can see two people the same already, three people the same already, four people the same. Four repeats in a, in a distance of about 12 inches. That's pretty lazy. But I don't know. The uh, the real arcade cabinet might do that. And if so, well, well done for the accurate recreation. The fonts at the top there, next to my energy bar, the sort of like yellowy, orangey ones, they look like the fonts in Street Fighter 2 as well. So there's a lot of continuity here. Right, I think one more. He's dead, is he? One more. One more. Is he a samurai? Well, he's dead now and he's gone. He disappeared like a Jedi, old em Envelope? No, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't think there is a Jedi called Envelope. I might be wrong. Check it for me. Is it the car bit now? I want to bring you smashing up a car. There we go, smashing up a car. So this car looks very similar to the one in Street Fighter that you have to smash up, but this time I've got a lead bar. The time's ticking down, slowly. We've got to smash this car up before the person gets back with their shopping before it goes down to zero. They're not going to be impressed, are they? This is not going to look very good on the insurance form. There we go. Perfect, it says. Hooray! Well, uh, I think we'll leave that one there. Quite a good game, I would say, in Amiga standards for 2D scroller shoot 'em ups or beat 'em ups I should say. So that's Final Fight by US Gold in 1991. Thanks for watching, as always. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.